Do not give any of these other conspiracy theorists anything else to latch onto, please. The Swellsy roller coaster is about to take another thrilling turn. And it's Travis Kelsey that's steering the wheel. Looks like our celebrity tight end is back at it again, and he's stirring up an entire storm of rumors around his future with Taylor Swift. From whispers of engagements to the faint sounds of baby talk, it seems like there's never a dull moment in the world of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. It's gotten so crazy that even his own bro is sliding in and begging him to pump the brakes before the fans go on a full-on frenzy. Now, the whole thing broke out when Taylor and Travis were chilling on vacation and soaking up the sun. But guess who decides to take a break from all the relaxation? That's right, Travis Kelsey. Instead of just kicking back and relaxing, he decides to drop a bombshell on his podcast New Heights alongside his bro Jason Kelsey. First off, can we talk about Travis busting out a spontaneous rendition of Taylor Swift's Bad Blood? Like, who saw that coming? But that's not even the wildest part. You see, the conversation began when the two brothers started chatting about this NBA player, Victor Wembanyama, who's like a giant at 7'4 and hails from France. Travis then goes on about how this dude must have been cooked up in a lab or something, you know, like lab-grown diamonds. But then, out of the blue, he dropped a bombshell that left everyone speechless. And it's nothing you'd ever expect. Our guy Travis here said he wouldn't mind having a lab-grown baby of his own. Can't tell me that dude wasn't made in a f***ing lab over there in France. Is he from France? Yep. It says pituitary thing, probably. 100%. Yeah, so you got like lion. Lab-grown lab diamonds? That's lab-grown Humans? NBA player. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's not far off, let's be honest. Can't wait till I fucking make one. <laughs> of course, as soon as those words left his mouth, Jason had to step in. Hey, somebody had to remind him that his words have serious weight these days. He then straight up told Travis not to say anything further because that would make all the fans go absolutely crazy. Well, too late now, Jason. The damage is done, and now the Swifties want answers. And that's still not even touching the surface. There's apparently another clue Travis has left for us that's been going viral. Did you ever expect a tight end like him to ever fanboy over a love show? Well, guess what? He actually does. And that show is none other than Love is Blind. And fans are now picturing Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey cozying up in their sweats and binging reality TV together. Come on, that's gotta be the most adorable thing ever! Many fans are also arguing that this is the type of fun you do when you're really serious about someone. Now isn't that food for thought? The reason why many fans have been aggressively picking at the things Travis has been saying lately is because he keeps dropping subtle hints. One of the first times that speculation surrounding their relationship intensified was when Tay-Tay and the tight end went on a vacation to the Bahamas. Around that time, our lover boy Travis dropped another bombshell on his podcast. Except at the time, he was joking about naming his future kid after Conan the Barbarian. And people just couldn't believe yep. that, you know, that, Barbarian. oh man, you know, f because they always, they always said, <laughs> I might could, name my first kid Conan. We could never <laughs> have might. done Conan without Schwarzenegger. Say what you want, but that's not exactly your typical dinner table conversation, now is it? On top of that, we were all asking ourselves one big question. What was Travis hinting at? Plus, the fact that they both had a dreamy getaway to the Bahamas was sending everyone. Sources were claiming that this romantic trip wasn't just about sipping cocktails on the beach. It was about getting real and having those deep, meaningful talks about their future together. Every time you're in town, you suck me back in. It's because we were meant for each other, baby. Despite all these rumors about the Swellsy couple, though, it seems like Kelsey and Swift are happy with taking things slow. You see, while Taylor had been taking breaks from her tour, she and Trav always managed to sneak away for a romantic vacay or a quick dinner. But other than that, they've also been totally off the grid and dodging the paparazzi like pros. Fear not though, Swifties, because insiders are dishing out the good stuff. According to a source who spilled the tea to People magazine, Travis and Taylor are still going strong. They're giving each other space to work on their professional lives, but they're also very keen on spending any break time with each other as soon as they get it. And you know, I think we're both uh, very uh, career driven. I think we both uh, love what we do. Um, and, uh, you know, any chance that I can, you know, show my support to her and knowing that she's shown me all the support in the world throughout the season. Apparently, Taylor's also never been happier, and she's head over heels for Travis. As for the engagement rumors, this isn't the first time Swift and Kelsey have been hit with a swarm of questions. Some time back, Travis addressed the rumors during a press conference ahead of the Super Bowl. 
he definitely kept it real. All Travis wants is to focus on getting this ring. And no, he didn't mean the diamond kind. The tight end meant that he was laser focused on snagging that Super Bowl championship ring at the time. He also took that moment as an opportunity to talk about his superstar girlfriend's recent Grammy triumph. The guy was just gushing about Taylor's history making night when she snagged Album of the Year for the fourth time. Travis couldn't help but sing her praises. She's unbelievable. She's, uh, she's rewriting the history books herself. Uh, I told her I'll have to hold up my end of the bargain and come home with some hardware too. Um, relationship goals? Okay, as romantic as everything in the Swellsy world sounds right now, many fans aren't convinced that the couple is taking things slow. It's not just them who are seeing something more in this equation, but even people in the couple's professional lives are catching on to things now. Recently, Travis's brother made a surprise appearance at WWE WrestleMania 40 on April 6th. And let's just say, it was one for the books. The former Philadelphia Eagles center strutted at the match between Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. He even got in the ring and went shirtless. That's one way of making a bold entrance, alright. But things took a juicy turn when Jason showed up and an announcer reportedly made a major faux pas by asking, isn't that what's-her-name's brother-in-law? And who's what's her name, you ask? None other than Taylor Swift herself. What makes the whole situation even spicier is that host Pat McAfee stepped in later. He didn't miss a beat and decided to stir the pot even further by belting out Taylor's iconic hit, 22, in response to the announcer's comment. We all know who they were talking about. Keep in mind that this incident also happened around the time that Tay Tay and Trav were taking their relationship to the next level by considering living together, which has definitely added fuel to the rumor fire. It seems like the lovebirds are gearing up to split their time between Swift's swanky pads in LA and New York and Kelsey's cozy abode in Kansas City once football season rolls around. Don't know about you guys, but the thought of Taylor and Travis living together 24-7 is bound to give anyone hard eyes. Could this be a sign that wedding bells are on the horizon? Or are they just taking things one step at a time? Well, as far as some of the people in Travis's world are concerned, they definitely want him to put a ring on the karma singer. Isn't that crazy? Looks like Taylor Swift isn't just making headlines in the music world, she's also becoming a regular fixture in the NFL scene. With her beau leading the charge for the Kansas City Chiefs, Taylor's been spotted cheering him on from the sidelines throughout the 2023 season. Seeing how supportive both of them are of each other, people like the Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker are just melting with joy. Butker even went ahead and talked about meeting the one and only Taylor Swift in an interview with EWTN News in depth. It apparently happened on New Year's Eve, and Butker was celebrating the Chiefs' AFC West clinch at a party. Lo and behold, who should show up but Travis Kelsey himself, with none other than Taylor Swift on his arm. Butker couldn't help but gush about Taylor's down-to-earth demeanor, and he described her as humble and gracious. But the sweetest part in all of this? It was when Butker expressed his hopes for Taylor and Travis's future by saying he hopes they get married and start a family. I can't say enough great things about her, and I, and I hope they, you know, as I said at Georgia Tech, I hope they, uh, you know, get married and, and start a family. That's right. Hey, with an army of people behind the two lovebirds pushing them to say yes, guess we can all expect some good news very soon, right? So what are your thoughts on Taylor's engagement rumors going viral once again? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested to know more about our favorite celebrity lovebirds, then this is the next video that you need to watch.